So be mindful. If it's somewhere where you've been given permission or somewhere you normally carry, if they turn it into a polling place on election day, permission is paused for that day. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And as you can see here behind me, we're gonna be talking about places where you're not allowed to carry your concealed weapon. Before any of y'all freaking keyboard warriors start in on this, like I've said in my other videos, it is a legal system, not a constitutional or justice system. So you can sit here and talk shit and fucking bang your keyboard away all you want. But I'm telling you what the legal system says. What you choose to do is on you to prove in the court. Let's get into this. But these are places where you are not allowed to carry. You can't get permission, none of that stuff. So some of these are kind of self-explanatory. What I pretty much tell my classes, if there's cops or criminals in it, you can't carry, you can't get permission. Honestly, that should be common sense. Don't get caught in these places with a gun on you. All right, I feel sorry for you. Now, this last one, into a polling place on election day. I want to point that out and kind of elaborate on that a little bit. The reason I want to elaborate is depending on where you live. I live in a rural area. A lot of people in this state do live in rural areas. In these areas, sometimes they use the schools, sometimes they use churches for their polling place. So if you have watched my permission video where you can get permission, schools and churches, you gotta get permission. All right, but if it's a polling place on election day, permission is paused for that day. All right, because all this stuff, will, again, will fall under improper carry and you can be arrested and if convicted, that is a felony. But yes, it is paused for that day. That doesn't mean you got to go back in there and get it uh, done again or ask for permission again. It's just paused for that day. So be mindful. If it's somewhere where you've been given permission or somewhere you normally carry, if they turn it into a polling place on election day, permission is paused for that day. All right. Next, inside any, well, I shouldn't say inside, anywhere there is a governing body meeting. So what I mean, city council, county council, zoning board, school board. So let's go back to the school. If your child's school gives you permission, but you're going there for a school board meeting, which is a governing body, which means elected officials, permission is paused for that meeting. But honestly, if you've ever been to any type of city, county, zoning, or anything like that, even I've heard of some school boards having cops out there wanting you before you go in. So you ain't gonna be able to sneak anything in. Daycare or preschool. Now one thing I'm gonna point out here with this, some of your churches have daycares and preschools. Church permission only applies to church hours. If you're taking them there any other time than church hours for daycare preschool, permission is paused. But now let's say you're there for church service and the same daycare area is used during the week as church service, that's different. It only applies to church hours when it is a church. All right, daycare preschool, Hours don't apply, you can't carry, you can't get permission. Now this one, carrying a firearm word is prohibited by federal law. <coughs> Excuse me. This is also going to include some of your publicly owned buildings that we talked about in the permission video. So like your post office follows, it's under federal law. So security office, these are public buildings, but they are under federal law. If you bank with a federal credit union, they're under federal law. Any other bank is privately funded, privately owned. They have to have the proper signs that you can find in my proper sign video. Or they have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. So just remember that. They have the right to ask you to leave or go put it back in your vehicle. So this is a very short list here that we just went through. That's it. This one. And this one, 
It's a very short list, very small group of places. So, again, for you keyboard warriors get started on this, I'm telling you what the legal system says, not constitutional, not justice system. But this is what they say. This is what you need to follow. Don't get caught carrying in these places because you can be arrested. And if you're put on trial and convicted, it's not going to go well. So please, if you ever have questions, reach out to me. I'll have helpful information down in the description below. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.